I'm showing you how to download the best hack client for the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. In my opinion, this is definitely Horizon Hack Client, which also happens to be probably the most popular one. Now, if you don't agree, let me know in the comments, because I'd love to see what you think. Anyways, to download it, you want to head over to horizon.download, which is their official download website. I will link it somewhere near the top of the description, together with my Discord server, which I definitely wouldn't mind you joining. Anyways, you want to go to the green download button and click on it. As you can see, I got Minecraft started up right here, and I have the Horizon Injector right in my downloads, which is great, so I can just double click on that. There is no install process, it's just automatically going to launch. Then once you click on this Inject button right here, it's automatically going to download the latest DLL and Inject as well. As you can see, it's now being injected into Minecraft. I'm quickly going to show you guys how you can use this, and I will actually link a more detailed tutorial on everything on how you can use this down in the description below. Anyways, I'll just head into any random world. So here inside of this random Minecraft flat world, you can see some things in the top left. Um, you can see a little bit of a tiny bit of a menu and in the top right, you can see that anti-bot thing. Anyways, to open up the interface, what you want to do is press on the insert button, um, which can be labeled as INS or screen link or insert. Yes, and some people have a 60% keyboard or don't want to use the insert key. And if you don't want to do that, you can open up the chat and then type in dot bind, just like so, and then click GUI, just like that, and then choose any key you want. I'm going to choose the key F. There we go. Then when we go enter, as you can see, Ryan says that the key bind of click GUI is now F, which is great. So I can press on the F key now and it'll open up this click GUI. And this click GUI is everything you need. It's going to be all the hacks you can use. Um, to activate a hack, all you do is you click on it and now it's been activated. Uh, if it's been activated, as you can see, it's going to be listed in the top right hand side. Um, if you don't want that stuff, then what you can do is just disable the um, array list as well as the tab GUI. And now, as you can see, um, I can still open and close that up. However, it's not actually going to show, which um, is pretty useful. So most of these hacks should be pretty self-explanatory. As you can see, you can hover right above them and in the bottom left-hand side, there's going to be a little bit of an automatic um, kind of description of the hack and what it does. Yeah, you'll also see some pluses for really most of the hacks. And what you can do is you can um, actually right click on those and you can select options. Um, as you can see for this high jump, you can choose your own jump height that you want to select it at. Yeah, and um, that's basically for all these that have a plus. You can just right click on them and, um, you know, custom uh, set those up. Anyways, that is basically a really quick tutorial on how to use it. If you want a full run through of all the commands there are, um, as well as a little bit more detailed description of the entire hack menu and stuff, then as I said, I have linked a tutorial on how to use that down in the description below. And otherwise, there's actually a cool new client called Borion, um, which is pretty similar, but still cool to check out anyways. It does also work for the latest version. If you want to check that out, I'll leave it in the description as well. For right now, though, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.